What's up YouTube, Andy here, and as you can see from that tweet, I sort of predicted that Snapchat was going to do something bigger with snap codes, and they have it here. So you can create a snap code from any link, um, like a website or a Instagram or anything like that that you want, and I'm going to show you how to do that and show you what it's all about. First of all, let's take a look at the update in the App Store. I'm going to open this up. Updates. Create snap codes. Open settings to create a snap code for any website. When friends snap it, they'll see an option to open the website inside Snapchat. So to create one, you swipe down and then you go to settings and then you tap on snap codes and then you can go to create snap code and all of the ones that you've created so far will be saved under my snap codes here. We have my original one here, which is created through Snapchat, not through the snap code creator. And this one that I've created for my YouTube, and I'm gonna show you how to create one. So you hit create snap code, and then you can type in any URL that you want. So I'm gonna create one for my Instagram. So you type in the URL, and then you hit the create button and then you're given the option to add an image. You can add an image for these and edit them. However, you can't add an image for your main snap code. So I'm gonna tap add image, and then here's photos from Instagram that it can pull in and use. Um, and then here's photos from my camera roll that I could use. So I'm just gonna pick one from my camera roll. And then you can pinch inside this yellow square here to like resize it and move it. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. And then hit save in the top right. And there you have it, it's created a new snap code for you for this URL. And then you can go back. And you can see that I have three snap codes created now. And I can go to the Instagram one and I can edit that. Um, so I could change the URL there. I can save this to my camera roll, which I've done. I can also hit this icon in the top right and save that image or share it on one of those other platforms. So let me go back here. Now these snap codes are useful for like tangible use only right now. So you can't really put them in your stories or in a snap to someone. Um, hopefully in the future they'll introduce that where you could do something like this take a snap and then you would be able to tap on that and it would it would create a sticker from your snap codes so like this is one that I tested out um, but if you send this to someone like they can't do anything with it they they can't hold down on this and get anything at this point they can't screenshot it and do anything um, at this point, they're pretty much only useful if you put it on a shirt or if you create a sticker or you uh, print it somewhere. Um, so let me show you an example here. So like here's one that I saved to my computer and all you need to do is hold down on the snap code when you're on the camera screen. It'll pop up and this is my YouTube link. So pretend this is on a shirt or a sticker or something that I created. Um, out in the public and then someone could scan it and be able to go to my website. In this case it's my YouTube channel. So let me hit this arrow on top to go back. And yeah that's really all you can do with them right now. I'm, I'm hoping in the future that you can use them as stickers or send them in chats to someone um, because that would be super useful if you could send links that way. I think that's what they're moving towards but not really sure. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember, new videos every single day, so be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time.